Uh, ultimately, we'll all work together and see what's best. And, um, you know, next week, and we'll make a decision from there. I'm sure y'all will know before I know. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. If the decision is made to, to, to return, mm -hmm. why is that important to you? Uh, for me, um, as stupid as some people may see it, you know, uh, for me, I, I mean, I like to play, man. It's I did all this work in the off season, did all this work in the summer, and then not, I didn't do it to play five games. Um, so, um, you know, obviously my goal every year is to play a full season. Two seasons down, I'm over two. But um, you know, getting the seven or six, whatever, whatever it might be, um, is better than where I'm at now. So, um, you know, I just like to play. I like to play. I like to be out there with these guys. I like for these guys to be able to see me play and see, uh, be able to count on me. And uh, that's just what I love to do. Do you view the injuries as sort of hard luck at this point? I mean, two straight years. Yeah. How do you? What are you, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's um. Not when I'm, I mean, hard luck could be a term. Uh, it's just unfortunate, but um, it happens, you know. Um, a lot of guys, you know, Frank Gore, for instance, I mean, he had tons of injuries, went through tons of injuries, and look where he's at now, what, third on our all-time rushing list, you know. There's guys that happen to, you know, guy seems to get injured every week, and guess what he does? Come back the next week and runs for 100, you know. So guys like that, um, really, I look up, I look at those guys, and I see, hey, if they can keep going, why can't I, you know. So it's just something that happens. It's a physical sport, physical position, but, you know, we can't let it stop. How are you feeling? Most I'm feeling good. Guys. Yeah, it's, uh, I've been happy, um, you know. Um, it could be way worse. Um, it could be way less, but it, I dealt with it, went through it. Um, I've been getting better every week, so I've been surprising myself every day going out and doing some of the things I've been doing, and uh, hopefully by next week I'll surprise myself being able to play. So. You say you like to play, mm -hmm. but what values can you get? Are there, is there actual value in my eyes? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I can go out there. I can benefit the team. I can go out there. I can encourage the team. I can go out there and I can play alongside these. This has been a long season for everybody. Um, and, you know, it's just, uh, like I'll say it again, it's been a long season for everybody. And um, I just want to be out there with those guys and, you know, just be able to go through those trenches, through those battles with them, alongside them, playing on Sundays. and just being able to give them all just like they have this year. Is there a development benefit that you can get out of it too? Or is that... I mean, I guess I can go in the off season and be like, I can count on my knees so I can start training extra hard. <laughs> I don't have to worry about, you know, uh, hey, do I still need to be doing a whole bunch of treatment? Do I need to be taking it easy at the beginning? That, you know, that kind of thing. Patricia mentioned, you know, the surgery, but what, what just when it happened, are you, what kind of went through your head? You know, we haven't talked to you since then. So um, kind of. You want to? I'm gonna be honest yeah. here. When when it happened, I was like, "That's my meniscus." Cause I mean, I like I went to school for physical therapy. I played football. I've known plenty of people that have done it. One of my other running backs in college did the same thing, and he explained it the exact same way. So when I did it, I was like, "I'm sitting there. I'm like, hey, maybe it's just like you know some swelling moving around. You know, in the morning it'll be fine." And I woke up the next morning, and I was like, "I already knew what happened." Um, but. Like I said, um, I knew it. I still, you know, I was able to play like what three more plays, and I was like, please just be, you know, something different. It wasn't, uh, but I had to deal with it. Had to go through it. You could feel it moving in your knee. Like oh yeah, it's uh, anybody who's who's done it. Um, I don't know if anybody has, but anybody, yeah, it's you can feel it, and it's not comfortable. Um, Sometimes, depending on who you are, you know, it ranges. Some people are able to play through it. Um, some skill position players are even able to play through it, but the way my, my body was set up, I wasn't. So. Is it the, next, the, the next morning, did it lock up on you at all? Or? Oh, all the time. Yeah. Uh, all the time. It was, uh, every, and I, I got stairs in my house, and I was like, this is now a bad idea. <laughs> Two years in a row, I've been freaking immobilized trying to get up and down my stairs in my house. But like I said, um, I. I when it got it done, and the doctors did a fantastic job on it, so it's been it's been a smooth recovery, no setback. So that's something to be happy for. So where, where do you feel the meniscus in your knees? Like behind it? Yeah, you got two. You got one on the inside, one on the outside. So mine was on the inside. Um, so um, just me being bow legged, just how it was, just where the spot was. Um, so, but like I said, when it got it fixed, I've been shoot. I'm gonna tell you, it felt good. Feels good now, way better than it did then. So I, I got to be happy with that. What, what concern is there for you, though? I mean. Two injuries, mm -hmm. in the season, two years. Even when you came in, you, know, yeah. you said like, "Yeah, like I've had injuries in the past." Yeah. Is there a concern for you that maybe you can't get through? I mean, you? maybe if I didn't play running back in the National Football League, there'd be a concern. But <laughs> that's just how the game right. goes, you know. I mean, I mean, this is a physical sport. I mean, linebackers come in with the same thing. Other guys come in with the same thing. It's just part of the game. Um, you know, never look at the injury as something that stops you. You know, you just got to learn from it. What can I do differently? You move on. You know, you go into the next year and you say, well, 
I'm going to try this again. You know, nobody goes into injury like there's no way in hell I'm going to get injured this year. Like, that's just not, you know, it's, I mean, the best athletes, uh, I mean, it happens. It just is what it is. And uh, you, you take it, you run with it, you deal with it, you come back again. What's your impression of what you see from both? Both been doing excellent. Um, I've been a big. I've always. I've known both forever, so I've always enjoyed watching them run. But I mean, we were. You know, we were looking for somebody. Hey, take a little pressure off of our quarterback, and then our quarterback went down, and I was like, well, now we're gonna be a predominantly running team. And I mean, he's been doing excellent. He's had two games where he should have had 100 yards and uh, do different things. Just didn't. I think he was at 98 one time, which was heartbreaking for me. But um, he's been doing excellent, man. So hopefully we can keep that going. And hopefully, you know, next year we can continue to grow together and both be out there. At the same time. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of funny. Just, uh, you know, anytime you can have somebody else from your home state, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, and of course, somebody that you've known your, all your college years and you've grown up here. I mean, everybody in Alabama knew who Bo was before he even got to Alabama, you know. So it's just cool, man. It's a, a, being able to relate and being able to talk about things outside of football, you know, it's awesome. When did you first hear of Bo and then when did you first meet him? I mean, shoot, high school. I mean, have you seen a picture of him when he was like 15? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. That's when everybody heard of Bo. And, uh, you know, you just follow the predominant names throughout high school. And then obviously you go to Alabama, um, you know, so probably definitely like sophomore, junior year, high school, somewhere in there. What do you think you two could be as a tandem? I mean, I don't know, you know, I mean, your running styles are certainly different. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I don't know, just dreaming on the future. Yeah, I mean, as a tandem, you know, I think we could just – really kind of benefit each other. Um, it's hard It's hard for defenses to prepare for two different running backs. I mean, we go through it on a weekly basis. This week will be the same for our defense, preparing for Peyton and, and uh, Ronald. So um, it's hard for defenses to do that. They got to do certain personnel for this guy, personnel for this guy, play this, this way for that. Then they get tired and we're able to stay fresh. Um, and you do that throughout the whole season. And uh, it really helps benefit the whole team. So like, you, like we've always said, we try to take the pressure off the passing game and off of Stafford and off of Blau and off of Kenny and guys like that. And, uh, the more guys we have able to run the ball, the more we can do that. I know you said before that you, know, you just gave your reasons of why you want to come back. Mm -hmm. What do your fans say to shut them down? What would you say to those, those fans? I mean, this is my job. You know, uh, fans don't determine what I do. Um, I love them, but they don't really have any input on what I do. Um, they don't have to go through my life on a daily basis, you know. If I don't go out there and perform, you know, somebody else, somebody else may come out and perform, and then my fans be fans of that guy. Um, so, you know, it's just, it just, you know, they don't, they just have really no input on what I decide to do with myself. You know, if I want to go out there and play like I've done my whole life, then I'm gonna go out there and play regardless of, I mean, my parents, whatever they say, they know the same thing. I'm hard-headed. I barely listen, and I do what I want to do. So. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.